Should you be future-proofing your lens collection today by only getting full-frame glass, even if you're on a Super 35 or a PC camera, or should you kind of lean in and get APS-C lenses that might allow you to utilize your camera better than full-frame glass? Now that's, that's the question. Hi there, if you're wondering, my name is Thomas. You know, back in the days, if you were shooting on an APS-C camera and you wanted to get some high quality glass, then you pretty much had to buy full frame lenses. None of the manufacturers put much, if any, effort into making high quality glass for their APS-C cameras and pretty much the same when it comes to third party options. Well, in 2023, that's not as true anymore. And I think this sort of thinking with future proving might come back and bite many camera users in the behind once it gets time to upgrade to full frame. And today, if you don't know when or actually if you're going to switch over to full frame camera and what brand and mount that camera might have, I mean, you might be switching from Canon to Sony or vice versa. Who knows, right? And with mirrorless cameras today, you won't be able to adapt those mirrorless lenses to your new mirrorless system. So that's another reason why I think future proving with APS-C cameras today might not be the smartest choice. Same thing when it comes to actually utilizing your APS-C camera and get the most out of that camera. I don't think you could do that with something like a standard zoom lens like this one here, the Tamron 24-70 f 2.8, which is a pretty decent glass. I mean, 24-70 is a pretty common standard zoom lens for full frame cameras, but on an APS-C camera, the widest you're able to go is like a 35 millimeter equivalent. And that's where, you know, handheld footage might start to become a bit too shaky at, at times at least. So if you're looking at a lens like this, instead the Tamron 17 to 70, also f 2.8, this will allow you to go so much wider. And we all know that it's not just for the sake of stability, but you know, getting that wider perspective on an APC camera can be quite difficult if you're not using wider and slightly faster lenses, which kind of makes a lot of sense, both in terms of the field of view, but also if you're shooting a lot in low light situations where you can kind of compensate for that APS-C sensor. If you're wondering about the B-roll that I've shown you here in this video and how it kind of relates to this topic, this is footage that I shot a couple of days ago when me and my buddy John went over to this little island called VM to do some exploring, photography, hang out and, and shoot some video. And this was an occasion which kind of made me think even more about this. So John was shooting full frame on his Nikon with the Sigma 24 to 105. F4 and I was using the Tamron 1770 on my APS-C camera. And we did some comparison in terms of field of view. And if you do the calculations, by the way, the 17 to 70 kind of gets you the equivalent of a 24 to 105, but this one is 2.8 and uh, the full frame lens we use was uh, F4. But, you know, if I were using a full frame 24 to 105, I wouldn't be able to, well, I, I would get slightly more reach, but, you know, if you're not shooting wildlife and that kind of stuff, you're usually just gonna miss out on the wider range when you're shooting video. And yeah, we talked about that with the, with the jitters and, and all that. So yeah, made me think even more about this. and and uh, the the soundness of investing in full frame glass on your APC camera. So I'm kind of curious to hear your thoughts on this. If you're shooting on APC or full frame and how you kind of, you know, go about investing in glass. Are you kind of dead serious about sticking to, to one particular brand? Or, or do you feel like buying slightly more affordable APC cameras will give you more flexibility when it comes to actually upgrade down the road 
to a full frame camera. So yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.